Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope that you guys are enjoying my channel. I just want to get right into it. So why did YouTube delete my channel from me? I've had my channel since 2015. Only recently, within the last, like, let's say, basically like four years, have I really been posting. I have not really been posting for nine years. It was just, you know, part of a channel that was created along with my email that I had at the time. Um, and my channel overall, I like to call it like an umbrella channel. So Think Social is just the like name behind the scenes um, of my channel. But then as you all can see from if you subscribe, if you please would, um, that the channel name is actually Matt Talks Finance. So Matt Talks Finance is underneath Think Social, like the name. So that's why when you look on my screen right now, it says Hi Think Social. So that is basically, you know, the name that my channel goes by. But obviously to you guys, you will read it as Matt Talks Finance. So basically I got this notification when I went on to my YouTube channel one morning and I got an email. I checked my email right away because I couldn't find my channel anymore. It said that my content didn't exist. I had some things that were supposed to be uploaded, uh, you know, like that I had set ahead of time. And it, the reason that they gave was spam. They thought that I was spamming my channel. So what I've done recently is I actually went, you know, to a different YouTube channel to watch a few videos on how to make my channel better for you guys. And one of the things that they said was post a bunch of shorts. And so I know that YouTube loves like shorts. They loves a short form content that 15 seconds, um, whether it's for a video that you already made or not, or you're creating one fresh, they love that they eat it up. So what I did was I created a bunch of shorts and I set them all to debut um, every single day at 8 a.m. And I don't think YouTube liked that at all. And I also connected them to uh, prior videos that I had made too, a lot of them. So I don't think YouTube liked that. Um, they did allow me to appeal. And obviously I'm, you know, sharing this video with you through my channel. So, you know, spoiler alert, wait until the end of like a minute from now. <laughs> but basically I was able to get my channel back because I did appeal. I clicked the appeal button right here and I, uh, you know, was able to give my channel URL. And I just said in my appeal notice, cause you get like 500, uh, words or something like that um hi like i'm so sorry like i just recently started posting like a ton of shorts and they all were set to, like to be at the same time i promise it won't happen again you know i was just like spread them out or whatever um so anyway yeah it's pretty scary to have your youtube channel deleted you don't know why and you don't know if you're ever gonna get it back luckily within like 10 to 12 hours i actually got my channel back um and then this was what you know, you get back as an email. So the channel, Matt Talks Finance, thank you for your patience while we review, um, you know, and it does not violate the community guidelines. So they did give me my channel back, which is really nice. I'm very happy and thankful for that because it gives me the ability to share things with you guys um, if you care or not. And yeah, I just think that, uh, you know, try not to upload too many shorts all within like a uh, no pun intended, short period of time. Um, I don't think the algorithm like that. I don't think YouTube wants that. Um, I think that they want like consistent, but you know, maybe spread apart as far as timing goes. So that way not everyone is expecting to see your video right at 8am. Um, but anyway, yes, yeah, I just want to share that with you guys and I hope you guys like this video.